Hi, it's Lisa from Lisa's Crafty Creations and today I thought I'd just do a um, getting to know you video. What I'm working on first of all is my Easy Win from the March subscription box. It is the Tigers um, in the forest. It has 35 colours. It's a square drill. So far I've had um, very little popping. Just because I haven't really placed them down properly and um, I've got no popping at the minute they all seem to be laying for oh there's a little bit there a little little bit I mean there was loads in the last wheezy when I did and I think it's because they're, they're very tight together um, so they tend to be they just tend to force themselves up um, but I haven't had as much trouble with this as I did with the last one Excuse me, I've had a bad throat the last couple of days, isn't it? <clears throat> I think it's on its way out. My husband will be over, his moon, over the moon if I lose my voice. So that's what this is. It's a 30 by 40. Um, just a small one. Um, I've got my... We had an inventory sheet, so I photocopied the inventory sheet and th put it through my Xyrox sticker maker. Um, which is not at hand at the minute. I put it through my Xyrox sticker maker so then I cut it out and stick it on the baggies. Now it's already um, kitted out. They all come in separate baggies but what I like to do is so they've got the number on already so what I like to do is put the little sticker on the bottom so it has the symbol and the DMC code on as well. So when I come to kit down, I can put them in the right places in my um, storage system. Um, so that's, and I will do that with these because these drills are lovely. So I will keep hold of these. Some of the drills I'm just throwing out if they've not got DMC numbers, I don't throw them out, I put them in a um, storage bag ziplock bag like this and um, collect them all and then I use them in things like things like this That's been a bit, which is a notepad cover and um, I need to finish to working on that I need to get some paper in it and do a back for it as well Um, so this is what I'm working on so let's get going let's pick a colour I thought today I'd tell you some of the things that I'm frightened of. Not a lot. <laughs> but there's two main fears that I have. Um, well, three. One's heights. One's um, <sighs> spiders. That's the biggest one. And the other one is um, thunder. I hate thunder. So first of all, I'll tell you a little story about a thunderstorm we went through. My friend and I, and I was still living with my mum and dad, we were in our late teens, left school, um, and back then you didn't have to go to college, and I went straight into a job, as I've mentioned before, I went in straight into a floristry job. And um, I'm, I'm looking for a colour, and I don't even know what colour I'm looking for, 26. Um, and what was that I said? Now I can't remember. Oh yeah, so I went straight into a job. So it wasn't. I was just working. But every uh, we had this routine through the week. That every week we on a on a Monday we would just maybe go for a walk or spend the day in at somebody's house or. Um, I would spend the time at home, whatever. Mondays weren't usually a day we had anything planned. So the world classed as a free day for me. And um, then we had Wednesdays. Tuesdays we had a, a, a special meeting that we went to. And um, Wednesdays we went swimming. And Fridays, Thursdays we had another meeting we went to. And then Fridays we went... Um, Badminton, went to play badminton. Well, there was one day, I don't know whether we'd been swimming or whether we'd just been out for a walk. We took her dog, she had a dog called Sophie, this friend of mine. 
beautiful beautiful dog she was like a i don't know collie lab mix she, she was beautiful golden colors to her she was a really pretty dog and she had a lovely nature she was she was just oh she was just gorgeous and um i can't find the color i want for this either returning from the baths or I can't remember but there was this it, thunderstorm came over all of a sudden so oh. it started to rain and you could see the lightning but you couldn't hear the thunder and then um, which was fine so we were hurrying home try and get back to my house before this thunder started because neither of us were particularly keen on it and then we were walking home and we could see the front door we were just across the main road, we had to cross a main road through a stretch of grass, which wasn't, it was about 50 yards, and then um, we were about 50 to 75 yards away from home. We could see the house, we could see the front door, and we started running because the rain started coming down. And then there was this almighty, out of nowhere, crack of thunder right above our heads well the pair of us we screamed and shot off down this path straight towards home screaming open the door open the door open the door so they did though i thought the door open they were laughing themselves silly watching us two screaming and wailing like banshees running like billy or to get into the house and we shot upstairs and both of us were almost underneath our broom and cover underneath the covers Oh, it was uh, hilarious when you look back, but no, it wasn't fun. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like it. I, I didn't like it. I'm not, I'm not a fan of the thunder. Um, and now, I, even now the kids will come in and check on us when it thunders. Are you all right, ma'am? And usually I'm in bed, I've gone to bed and I'm hiding, you know, I've got the covers up past my chin and I'm like, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> Trying to put a brave face on for your kids. Well, they know me, they know me too well. And uh, so that was the case with the thunder. And then Heights, we um, went, once went to uh, on one of these um, walks through the woods that you, you know, you often do when they, they have the rope swings, don't they? Well, there was a rope bridge. And it, I mean, it wasn't mega high, but it was high enough. And I freaked in the middle of this rope bridge because somebody started swinging it. And I was screaming, don't, 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 stop, 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 stop. And hanging on. And I couldn't move. I literally couldn't move. So somebody had to come and get me and help me up the bridge. It was my friend again. Uh, and it was her boyfriend who was being horrible because he used like that. He wasn't horrible, but he, he liked to play a joke. He liked to wipe people up. He was a lovely, well, he is lovely. And uh, so we had fun and games. They had fun and games at my expense. But with spiders, I had a few different instances where I totally freaked out over spiders. Now, the first time, I mean, I was never particularly keen on them, but I'd never had a major meltdown or panic attack over a spider before. But we were at, we were at uh, somebody's house. There was a load of us there. Um, my mum and dad were there. There was it was like a um, it was a meeting we'd got, we'd gone to, um, and then afterwards we were having a cup of coffee and a chat and a chill. And it was lovely, and um, and this young lad in his it was a bit older than me. Again, we were in our teens early to well mid to late teens we would have been in and um at the time there was these spiders and you could get them when they were on like a a rubber pump 
and you would squeeze the pump and the spider would walk across the floor and it was quite realistic well all, all I saw was this great big spider jump come out of this guy's pocket jump on the floor well he'd obviously thrown it but I, I just saw this thing land on the floor and then start walking across the carpet well I freaked I uh, my legs were up on the settee I turned away face so I couldn't see it but they were trying to scare the cat well I don't know whether the cat saw me as a um somebody who was on the same wavelength as it because it was as frightened of it as I was and it started to hide behind me well I knew the cat was behind me and I knew what they were doing and the closer this thing got and um, the more people were like at the more frightened in the end I was in a cold sweat I was sobbing and um, it, my sister then cottoned on to what was happening and she said don't oh, no, don't bring it over here don't bring it over here and then my mum cottoned on to what was happening and um, then everybody else realised what was happening and um, this young lad got put it away don't get it out again you shouldn't have brought it with you so his mum and dad then played war with him I felt sorry for him in the end because I mean he didn't know I didn't really know that I would freak out the way I did but I froze and I literally was I was absolutely absolutely you know you, you get you get sweats you get hot, hot and cold so I was I was shaking I had the shivers the sweat was running down me I was um crying I'd frozen and I was just the closer it got the tighter into the fetal position I was getting myself oh it was just it was just ah and um I got an apology later off. I'm so sorry, this lad. I didn't realise I said, No, it's all right, don't don't worry about it. But and you find that people have to test it out. There was another case with my husband at the time we were just caught in and um he knew I was scared of spiders, he'd heard the stories, um, but he'd never seen me react before. Well they like to see the reaction. See find people find out you've got a fear of something. The light to push the limits and it's really not fair on the person who's got the fear because it's it's an irrational fear you know you know you've got nothing to be frightened of really but you can't help it you really can't help it you can't help the reaction and sometimes you're trying desperately and you I talk to myself um, and tell myself I'm being stupid and I'll tell you why I, I say that even more now in a, in a little while um, but back to my husband and um, we were at his brother-in-law's house and nieces and nephews, nieces were all there because he's got no nephews, just nieces, nephews are on my side. And um, she, one of them had this big rubber spider. So they came up behind me as I was saying goodbye to my sister-in-law who now is um, and they put this big huge spider on my shoulder well I turned round to see what it was saw these grey big googly eyes and these legs and I freaked I threw the thing up in the air legged it out the house jumped in the van and shut the doors and I wouldn't talk to him all the way back to his house and he's like I'm sorry I didn't realise I'm like and I just wouldn't talk to him he thought that was it he thought that it was over but um, no, I said, why did you have to, you knew, I knew I was scared of spiders, so that led into a big, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, <laughs> it was funny, but uh, it wasn't funny at the time, so this spider went this way, and there was another time we were at um, one of our meetings, and we were doing, we had this, like, thing that had we had a magazine and we used to do like a question and answer out of this magazine and um and I was sat looking at the magazine and all of a sudden there's this spider crawls across the magazine and I grab a person on either side of them and just just sort of point and um nobody 
really cottoned on to what I was pointing at. The next thing I know, my magazine goes one, mate, one way and I go the other and I shoot out this row downstairs and um, somebody has to come back down and say, it's all right, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. And another case, the same sort of event, um, somebody behind me was as frightened of spiders as I am and there was a commotion going on and I'm like, what? what's the matter, what's the matter? And before this other girl could stop her from saying anything she said there's a spider on the floor and I'm going where 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 and then I was up and off again because the idea of not knowing how big it was where it was just totally freaked me out and I had to get up and run so I ended up downstairs again in the toilets crying my eyes out because I'd made another fool of myself and uh, it was just ugh and then another time we went to the zoo we went well it was it i think it was a, a crocodile park i think they said it was it was in the uk but it had um it was known for its crocodile and we thought oh let's go and see this and it had bird of praise it had um other animals in and it was a look it was a lovely it was just small it was just looked like it was a family run um little park but um it was lovely the, the staff were lovely the place was nice it was just just a lovely place i can't for the life of me remember where it was now um i don't know whether we were in the lake district or whether we were um in scotland or what it was in the uk somewhere and um we went and uh, <laughs> we came, we had my children with me and we came to this um, area and I walked in and then there's this great big spider. Well, I I couldn't walk past it. I'd got, I I'd got past it, but then I couldn't come back out. It was a one way system and I was sat on the floor. Although then... I, walked, I was all right while it was in its cage, that was it. But somebody had asked to see it. So the zoologist had gone in and got it and brought it out to um, this couple who wanted to see it close up. Well, it, they were in the doorway and I couldn't get past without passing. I couldn't get out without passing them. So I ended up sat on the floor, almost in the feet, sit, sitting up fetal position. Um, crying I can't get out and, and my husband's going it's alright just walk past I can't I can't I can't I can't the zoella just noticed it and and they said I'm sorry I'm gonna have to put it away and the, they were like oh I'm so sorry I said no, I'm fine it's it's, it's alright it's not your fault I just and he took me took me a while to actually walk past and he, he took it in and then I think he brought and then he, he approached me later and said so so you've got a fear of spiders you've got arachnophobia and I said yeah I have I said I've had it for a long time now and I explained how it all start these this fear um this freeze and this the the running away and the, the crying and everything when it started and uh and he said right he said um he says I can help you get away away from your fear of spiders but it involves you you hold you know if you want to come and have a chat to me he says I've got to go and do a bird thing so we did that and then it took me a while to build up the courage and he said right okay I can do it but we haven't got a lot of time he said but um come on so he took me into this this big room and um he said, right, what we're going to do is I'm going to start with you holding a uh, skin of this spider. It was huge. This, this, it was, um, black, was it, it was a black rose bird eating spider tarantula, something like that. It had rose in the title, I'm sure it did. And then it was a bird eating tarantula. So it was quite the size, it was the size of, of my hand. And, um, Um, so it's the size of my hand so I thought all right I can do this but it looks so like the spider I was I was literally like I, I was holding it 
because I had all my all the door, my daughters were, were stood around me going, go on, ma'am, go on, ma'am, go on, ma'am. So I did. So I thought, well, I can hold this. This is not, this is not bra. I can do this. I can do this. So I tight psyched myself up when I held this. Um, So I held this um, skin of this tranchle. Thought it was really soft. It felt like velvet. It was so you expect it to be like hairs, be like hairs, but it doesn't. It's so soft. And then um, you could, you know, obviously we could stroke it, and everybody was stroking it. And I was like, oh, I, this is this is all right. I can do this bit. This was fine. And I got. He says, right now, do you want to hold the real thing? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know whether I could do it. And the girls are going, and Jeremy's going, go on, go on, you can do it, ma'am, you can do it, ma'am, you can do it. And I'm going, in, oh, I can't empty kids down, but I don't know whether I can do this. And um, so I'm huffing and puffing and like, oh, God. he says, mind you got to know that you can't drop, do whatever you do, don't drop it. He says, it won't bite. I'm like, yeah, right, you can't reassure me that it won't bite. It's a wild animal. It might bite. He says, it won't bite you. You'll be fine. Just don't make any sudden movements. And um, please don't drop it. So, I, um, oh, I was like, oh, go on then. And I was like, no, I was going then. I said, I'll oh, go on then. So I eventually got this thing and I got this spider on like both sides of my hands. It took up both hands. And he walked this spider onto my hand. Now, when it was walking, I was freaking a little bit. I can't say I wasn't freaking. But he got this spider on my hand and I held it. And I was like, closing my eyes and going, and he's going, don't blow on it, don't blow on it, you'll make it, you'll freak it out. So, so I'm, I'm like, I can do this, I can do this. And I'm looking at it and thinking, oh, this spider. And then I'm like, realising, well, I'm holding this great big spider in my hand. And I have this beaming smile on my face because I actually achieved it. So I'm stood like this with this spider in my hand. And I'm going, I think I've had enough. I can't do it anymore. Take it away, take it away, take it away. So, he, and so then the thing crawled. Oh, when it started moving, I was like, oh my word, I don't like this at all. Please take it away. But since then, he said, you need to do this a few times, really, to actually get rid of your fear. I'm thinking, right, that's going to happen. And then I was like, oh. I don't know whether I can, but then after that, for a long time, I was, um, whenever there was a, a spider near, I was like, no, I can do this. I can get rid of this spider. I've held a tarantula, so this is nothing, you know, but then slowly this fear has got the better of me again. And, and I do, I can still move them. But um, I tend to use the hoover or something that's, you know, long reaching. Um, my daughter now has a fear of spiders and I don't know whether that's because of me, quite possibly. Um, but the other two haven't. Um, none of us particularly like the big ones, but even my husband gets a bit freaked out at some of the big ones that you get around here. Because we live in the, in the country. Um, Although we're near the sea, but we're surrounded by cliffs and uh, you still get like a lot of farmland. So they do get a lot of spiders. Um, so my daughter gets freaked out at times with them as well. Um, you know, we've, we've caught her in a fetal position behind the bedroom door once because there was a... Mind, that must have been freaky. She was laid in bed. And she saw this um, spider crawling down between the window frame and the curtains. And it was dark and the light was coming from outside, like the moonlight. So all she could see was this great big thing. And it obviously looked a lot bigger in, um, in that kind of situation. And she screamed. 
and we couldn't argue. I'm going, what's the matter? What's the matter? I couldn't get in the room because she was behind the door. So we had to sort of force the door open, move on her at the same time. Um, and, well, could we find this spider? It had gone. And she was, like, freaking out. And eventually, I mean, eventually we did get it. But, oh, it was, I felt so sorry for her. Because um, I could understand what, how, she, how she felt, you know. Um, I mean, the other night I was laid in bed and... Uh, I was watching, I think I was watching Cal or Annie, one of the two. And uh, I was sat minding my own business, doing a bit of crocheting and listening to one of my YouTubers. And uh, all of a sudden there was this thing landed. And at first I thought it was a daddy long leg, you know, the, the flying ones, um, like big, big oversized midges. We call them, well, I call them daddy long legs. Where, where I come from, that's what they're referred to as daddy long legs. And, uh, but I think here they're called daddy long legs. The little spiders with round bodies and big legs, whereas we call them harvestmen. So anyway, this flying thing. At first I thought it was that, but then it was like, the way it was moving its legs and crawling, I thought, no, it's a great big flipping spider. Well, I whapped this spider. <laughs> got my hand and just whacked this spider out of the way and it went flying across the room and I had no idea where it went I couldn't find it after that and I was like a bit nervous all night looking for this spider checking to see it wasn't on the bed and then not that long ago the cat got one on the bed and I'm like oh I freak out when they're on the bed I really do I hate it um so, because I have this fear of them, um, I have this fear of them, and then, and then the other night, the other day, you know when you get these, um, videos, and you can see, like, they showed this spider crawling around onto somebody's hand off, and then all of a sudden, it jumps towards the, the camera, and is this, well, and you, you makes you jump, well, uh, somebody sent that to me, well, to our family, and they all thought it was funny and we all jumped like but I jumped screamed was like through the phone in one direction and I went the other and then um we I went to bed and I was <laughs> and now I uh, went to sleep and I was and then I was, I'm having this dream of this spider in my kitchen and um I'm searching for it with the hoover. The next thing it is, crawls out and jumps at me. And I wake, and Jeremy's, because he could sense my agitation, and, and he wakes me up. And I sit, sit bolt upright and go, oh, Stephen, the person who sent it me, swearing about the person who sent it me. Oh, I was like, I couldn't get back to sleep after that. I thought, oh, I'm giving this up. I ended up reading my story for a bit just to calm myself down. Oh, man. And that's what I mean. People do things like that. They test your fear out. And it's, I mean, I can see the, the funny side of it, but it's not funny at the time. And as I say, like I taught myself and say, you held a tarantula before, Lisa. What are you whinging about? You know, but you literally, it, it's an uncontrollable fear. And you, you just, you can't do anything about it. It's just, ah, it's horrible, horrible. I hate having this fear, but because the fascinating things, I mean, at the same time, I find them fascinating, you know, the way they can build a web and oh, what they do, I just, but at the same time, there's something about them. If they stay still, I'm not so bad, you know, if, if they're in a room and they're just staying still, I can cope, but if as soon as they start moving, I freak out. And I think they have this ability to be, like, I know other animals, like flies, can be anywhere. You know, they can just land. And, but with spiders, they've got no wings. They've got no, yet yeah, they can get anywhere. You know, they can crawl into anywhere. They can drop down from anywhere. They can suddenly appear in front of your eyes. And they've got no wings. And you think, and they're like, they just, they just freak me out. They just totally freak me out. Um, 
yet when you were actually when I actually held that yeah as I was saying um, they are quite beautiful creatures you know when you look at them they've got different colors and sizes and the built the webs the build are just it's one of my most favorite things seeing a, a web um, on a frosty cold morning or a, on a dew filled morning and all the water's clinging to the webs it just looks so beautiful that I get annoyed with myself for being but I can't even look at them in books I tend to turn the pages quickly although as the older I've got the more, more I force myself into looking at things like that and I would force myself into talking about them with my kids and that kind of thing um, but I would never have held this if it wasn't for the, the girls the look of come on mom you can do it you know I felt that I couldn't let them down so that's what I did and um, I'm pleased I did it it's an achievement but the unfortunate thing is like back then we didn't have cameras on phones and um, so we didn't take the camera with, well we had the camera but we never thought to take a picture of me holding this spider so we've got no proof so everybody's like no you never did that you wouldn't do that where's the picture and I'm like it's in my head uh, so yeah so on that note I'm going to leave the stories for now um, and if you've enjoyed listening to my um, stories and had a good laugh at my expense which is fine I'm quite quite happy with that please consider subscribing um, and if you do subscribe hit the bell to be notified whenever I do a video and um, which is at least once a week um, at the moment um, I don't go live I was intending to but um, I'm not going to be doing that um, it's not something my family are comfortable with so I'm not going to be doing that um, but I will be doing my crafty videos and a little bit of getting to know you and telling you some stories of things that happened to me in my life um, if you've been before hi I hope you've uh, enjoyed finding out a little bit more about me I'm so pleased you could join me I hope you're having a wonderful day the weather's gorgeous and I hope you're all enjoying it um, if you do subscribe please remember though to hit the comment or make a comment because apparently the subscriptions aren't counting unless you've made a comment so please do that I love reading them and I will respond to any comments that are made and remember um, constructive criticism is always welcome on this channel so please you know if you think there's something I could improve on please let me know this is a new camera so the camera shots I'm not sure about so if you let me know what you think of those and um, on that note I love you and leave you please remember to pass on a smile if you get the opportunity to and I'll see you next time guys bye